salutations, salutations queens, queens and kings. kings. You are in it for a treat. This is P Valley Review, Season 1, Episode 6, Legacy. Let's get into it. Yes, so as you all already know, the scene opens up with Mercedes and Autumn. They're both very comfortable. You can see that they're going back and forth doing their, what Kink says is scamming. Mm. I just see two women changing disguises, going from money wiring place to money wiring place to Scamming. get their fun to get their fun that's all i see yeah you know? and um yeah. i see that they have gotten very comfortable in their um their process you know very right. secure in that process okay okay um, <laughs> right after that we see um mercedes actually visits tarika at her tennis lessons and she's pretty much talking to Mercedes. And you actually see Terika having an uh, issue with playing tennis. Mm. And then um, Terika is pretty much talking to Mercedes and letting her know that I want to come and live with you. This okay. is not where I want to be. I don't want to be playing tennis. Mm -hmm. I just want to be with you. And I don't want to be on the dance team. I just literally just want to live with you. Mm. And that's pretty much what she um, finally you know, told Mercedes. And right when, right when she was telling Mercedes that, that's when their her stepmom comes and breaks up their conversation. And the stepmom pretty much just lets um, Mercedes know that she's the one that is going to be taking care of Terika and has control and say so over what's going to happen with this next phase in her life because her dad is ashes in the gr ashes in the urn on top of her mantle wait and let's slow down <sighs> things are heating up i got some jalapeno when things start heating up i'm gonna go ahead and take these nice little cuts here just for you all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes okay it's about to get hot okay i definitely when i was watching the scene i felt hot because you can see how bad Mercedes wants Terrica back in her life and Shell is just letting her know you have to straighten up and tighten up because the court is not going to let Terrica just go back with anybody and um, she has to say so. Pretty much what she lets Mercedes know. <laughs> Ooh. And um, right after that it gets even hotter so please another pepper. <sighs> Probably two more peppers for this because it's getting spicy. It's definitely getting spicy. I'm not going Mm -hmm. Just for you all. Thank you, King. I appreciate you. Because it's not easy. All this spice in this episode is not easy. Okay? <coughs> so the next thing you see... It's okay, baby. We got it. It's okay. We got it. <laughs> we got it. The, we next, got it. the next thing you see is Little Murder, or LaMarcus, excuse me, and Mississippi okay. meeting up uh -huh. to talk about... Well, LaMarcus came to talk about... To talk to Mississippi and let her know, like, whatever you thought you saw last night, right. you ain't seen nothing. And Mississippi was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, technically, they just went over a very awesome marketing scheme. Yes. And they decide... And Mississippi decided... I'm not going to say they, because Mississippi has this grand scheme. There you go. Where, well, not grand scheme, really. She's knowing that you have to build on momentum. When mm. you're blasting off on social media, as quick as you blast off, it's as quick as they can pretty much say, we're not interested in this anymore. So she said, let's build on this momentum. We're going on a trip on our favorite, favorite rocket ship. Into the sky, little Einstein. All right. Okay, yes. So That's exactly what happened. Mississippi mm -hmm. decided to go on a nice little plan. And yes. yes, some people involved are just going to have to roll on with it. And that involves her in abusive, abusive, abusive mm -hmm. other half, mm -hmm. which we should definitely talk about here. Diamond, where you at? Yes, exactly. And that's pretty much where uh, Mississippi just lets Lil Murder know that we can build up on this momentum and we're going to take a selfie right now to show people it's us, we're in this thing. And she lets him know like we're blowing up on uh, World Star Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about his song being the hot track of that time. And so she's, my, she's pretty much like, let's take a selfie, build up on this momentum and show people we together and pretty much finesse the game, you know? I wouldn't say finesse and the game, but I would say finesse the game because it's more like, well, okay, you can pretty much say she is throwing her artistic viewership on it, altering the perception. Scheme. Yeah, take it, taking control of the perception. Yes, and the marketing. Yes, the definitely. marketing is beautiful. You the are. marketing is beautiful. Uh -huh. So, 
right after that you see um uncle clifford and he is getting a text message from lamarcus and letting him know like i already dated that mm. you don't even have to worry about any of that yeah and um that's also where we get to meet um uncle clifford's grandmother whoa mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. party time. Party <laughs> yeah. time. She's in the living room grooving. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Grooving. You yes. definitely cannot tell um at all that she is blind, okay? Mm -mm. You will see that several times. Yeah. <laughs> Even was, Stevie Wonder saw that she wasn't blind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she was um she was smoking and everything, just like enjoying herself in mm -hmm. the um, living room. And she was smoking weed and she was like no, they say cannabis. Weed. Medical cannabis, y'all. Yes, medical cannabis, mm -hmm. allegedly. Allegedly. And she pretty much was just like, um, they say we will bring back your sight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but even if it doesn't, <laughs> but even if it doesn't, hey, you feel me? Oh my goodness. So even if either, it doesn't, it yes. makes you forget mm -hmm. that you can't see it, apparently. Yes, even if it doesn't. Yeah. And um, that's why Uncle Clifford pretty much just gets serious with her and lets her know that you handed me over this business when it was going under already mm -hmm. and it seems as though it's getting we're getting to our end with the pink there's uh -huh. no longer going to be a pink we cannot um sustain it any longer because as you know like we've told you before in the last um the previous episodes mm -hmm. is that it's getting the casinos closing in on the pink and pretty much going to wipe them out and mm -hmm. not even try to offer them anything mm -hmm. they're going to be up on the auction block and that's pretty much what Uncle Clifford is updating um, his grandmother to. And she's trying to figure out why is this happening. He's like, you already know when you pass this business down to me, which is a shocker to us. Because we're like, you know, finally getting to introduce to why he was, um, why he actually acquired the pink and how he acquired the pink. And that's a lot of businesses before. It was a juke joint. Yes. Which anyone. Always popping. Absolutely. That was one thing Grandma was saying. Always, always, popular. always, and you always have a beautiful uh, uh, acknowledgement for the artists that come through as well. Those Juke Joints, they're able to break their uh, 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 break their records, as mm -hmm. they would say in the South. Let me stop. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So, um, next thing you know, we see that Big L, which mm -hmm. is the accountant of the pink, he goes to visit some type of drug dealer sure. and lets sure. him know, hey, I'm going to need something to hold mm -hmm. so that I can make some money. Uh -huh. Because he's pretty much letting him know that the pink is going under and I need to be able to contribute some way, somehow. So I thought that was very, very interesting. Yeah, and the drug dealer already knew that Uncle Clifford was a rider for that. Yes. But Big L went through the process and said, I saved someone's life, mm -hmm. so I guess that person owes me. Exactly. So, hey, we'll see how that goes in the long run as well. Yes, exactly. So the next thing we see is Uncle Clifford. He's in the nail salon getting his nail done. His nails done. And speaking Cantonese too as well. That's Ni hao. What, that's what I was about to, Heiser. That's what I was about to say. He he always he's always giving me thrown energy. Wherever okay. all the spaces that he claims. Yeah. And it is um very comforting and very empowering. I will say that about the um character that he that that he plays. I really, really do appreciate that. Yeah. And um he's sitting there, he's getting his nails done and Eloise happens to come in. Well not happens to come in. He said, Yeah, um my girl right here told me about your five o'clock, that's why I'm here <laughs> <laughs> And Uncle Clifford pretty much lets Eloise know, um, you were a how a stripper turned into a house mom. Mm. And that's when we're all like, Oh snap, Eloise used to you know, strip so it kind of makes sense going back to wow. when she was letting the first black uh, chug Eliza just talk to her so greasy it makes sense now and why he thinks that it's okay yeah you know yeah that's unfortunate but uncle clifford let her know you need to respect your family that you came from you're the first ho i graduated okay <laughs> yeah. so you need to respect your family and let me know he was like if it's lukewarm tea or it's scalding hot i need to sip said tea okay i need to sip all of it <laughs> that's all i'm saying <laughs> need to sip it all all of it that tea we need all that tea all of it all of it mm. Mm -mm -mm. So that's pretty much Uncle Clifford walks out and he just leaves Eloise with that fact. 
you need to let me know if there's something going on because this is your family here at the pink and you need to um keep us abreast abreast to said information uh <laughs> yes so that's the next scene where we actually see autumn having dinner with mercedes mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. I mean, to wrap up the conversation that Mercedes and Autumn was having, Autumn, who the heck are you? Okay? Because I am I, getting tired of it at this point. Hey. She's very informative. She's very... Mm, she's somebody. She she knows... She definitely knows how to, to, to get through life efficiently and work underneath the radar. If need be, I wouldn't be surprised if Autumn has some type of farm somewhere. Yes, growing something. I, with all I wouldn't of her, be surprised. Uh, with all of the insight and the intel, it's yeah. like Autumn. Who are you? Somebody. Let us know. She's somebody. <laughs> somebody is still looking for Autumn, but yeah, we don't know because we didn't. We never saw Montavious again. That's who I was looking for this entire episode. I was looking for it to get spicy. It did get spicy, but I was looking for Montavious to show up. And that's all King kept saying. He was like, she's a scammer. She's a scammer. I'm like, I don't know what she is. I just know she's someone with a lot of insight, a lot of intel. She gave Andre a lot of great advice. She was giving um, Mercedes advice like, offshore account? What you talking about, Autumn? Which will what? make you think... Why isn't she? What? Why is she stripping? And why doesn't she yeah. have a certificate in business, associate, or some type of business um, um, management? Because she's well beyond. She's obviously surpassed. well beyond surpassed <laughs> uh, the labor, the artistic labor of being on that pole. But if that's what she wants to do, you know, and get your exercise out, that's absolutely. Yes. your prerogative yes. all right but you know a lot <laughs> and for someone to throw up bitcoin to tell someone an offshore account in the midst of us having who this brunch are you, Autumn? who are you okay and it, i'm trying to keep it going i'm trying go to ahead. keep it going go ahead. so next we see andre meeting with the kyle family come on the two boys who mm -hmm. are the original cow, um, cow, cow boys, you know, his, right, blood. And mm -hmm. well, the other guy's his blood too, but he's the, um, he is what we found out was actually the child of the maid that used to work there. Mm -hmm. So the owner of, um, the plantation, if you will, you know, ended up, he made like another pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Corbin ends up signing the, um, signing the agreement to sell the land over to the promised land casino <clears throat> and he signed when i say sign in duress i mean they the cow brothers literally held up a gun to both corbin and andre all right uh, hey it was allegedly yeah. allegedly oh. there was or was not a bullet okay, okay in the chamber so it you know I'm just saying. Allegedly. And Corbin said, okay, once they um, turned the gun on to, at first they were holding the gun at Corbin, and he was just like, like, y'all tripping. Like, there's no gun, there's no bullet in there. Like, chill. And then they were like, okay, we're going to turn it on Andre. And once he, they turned the gun on Andre, Corbin pretty much was like, I'll go ahead and sign it. Yeah. So he ended up having to sign the deal to sell the land um, to the Promised Land Casino. But he, Corbin, wanted to lease the land because he said, I want to keep the legacy. And the cowboy which, didn't understand that. Which they would have gotten a $15,000 a month lease. Now, for some folks, you may say, hey, $15,000 a month is just play money. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. There's some folks that's probably down south right now in Texas and Florida. In yes. North, South Carolina, mm -hmm. Georgia, where you know, down in Louisiana, there's probably folks wherever that's that probably shows that fifteen thousand dollars a month is play money. Yes, absolutely right. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about for the remainder for the remainder of your life mm -hmm. and the longevity of your family that you are leasing out the property. Of your land. Now, we ain't even talked about your 401k and the Roth IRA that you're going to put into 
you know, the workers on that field that you're leasing out that still has cotton growing. We can start. Yo, it's layered. Yes, it's, Ooh, it's layered. I'm sorry. It's layered. No, you're you're fine because that that's exactly what um, Corbin is trying to let them know. Yes. But it seems as though the Kyle brothers don't want to have anything to do with their father's Apparently. legacy because they're very disgusted at the simple fact that the their dad cheated on their mom and what I and you, had that child. Put your prejudice to the side for profit. But hey, you know, not everybody can do that. Apparently Next not. scene we see little murder is getting introduced to um, Uncle Clifford's grandma. Ooh. They are enjoying each other. You know, we see Loretta Devine again. I love, love, love me some Loretta Devine. And um, her, her energy is just so pure. I love it. And um, what, the one thing that she was saying, like she said a line in there and she pretty much was like, I'm a practical bee. Okay. <laughs> and oh it was just hilarious. Her energy is hilarious. And she, um, in this scene as well, she did something to Uncle Clifford where it makes you realize it's like, you, you can't be blind. There's no way you're blind. Because she like hit Uncle Clifford on the chest after like talking for a certain amount of time. You don't know where Uncle Clifford located in the room. But you just sensed it and hit him right on his chest. So I thought that was really, really funny. And, yeah. um, <laughs> go ahead. Other senses. Those other senses picked up. Heightened. Yeah. I get a. Oh, my goodness. She was enjoying herself with a little murder. A little murder gave her some medical cannabis and, um, she, to, to sniff. And she, he was like, Yeah, I'm going to set you off before I leave and let her sniff this. She was like, Oh, that's good. He can come back. He can come back. That smells good. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious as well. It's hot, y'all. Next scene. <laughs> Man. I'm doing this for y'all, for real. Yes, exactly. The um, next scene, as we, as we can see, is definitely getting hotter. Yeah. Mississippi and Lil Murder are blowing up, okay? Yeah, yeah. even and, on the next towns from the next states. Yes. I believe Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Kentucky. Is, is that what she's, it was it was some people Sorry. had traveled from far to come and see um mississippi yeah yeah, to come and see her perform. Still blowing up in Mississippi, yes, Tennessee. But, there was one other. So I'm so sorry. I'm yes, forgetting it's fine. right now. Because we try not to write, go as deep into the little intricate details. If you saw the um oh man, if you saw the episode, then you already know people came far and wide. But what we saw was in the locker room, Mississippi. Um, someone had actually shown a, one of the strippers had shown a video to Mississippi just showing like, hey, you're blowing up. I see you out there. Yeah. And they're pretty much feeling some type of way about her blowing up. Yeah. And, um, one of the girls were, Gidget pretty much turned to Mississippi and was like, you know, it's not, we're not trying to really, she kind of just called her name and was just like, it's not that big of a deal, but we just want to protect you because even though this may seem all fun and games, we know what you have to go through when you go home and right when mississippi was trying to like tell him like oh it's all good you know i'll be fine she was putting on her um her, her makeup yes yeah, she was putting up on her makeup and you could tell like right here around her cheek that there was like a bruise or something she was covering up because it was really sore for her to touch that area so it just shows you like mississippi still got some stuff going on she trying to blow up we i really hope that mississippi don't end up hurt by her baby father because like we talked about one of our uh, last what's the name where is diamond diamond has already yes, put diamond. in the call whenever she would like mm -hmm. anyway he will let he will get it done okay diamond let her know it's no issues <laughs> <laughs> yes but that's either way when uh, mississippi's looking in the mirror she actually turned she actually sees autumn um going into mercedes locker and she pretty much just is like, why is, um, you know, like, why are you going in that locker? Like, how would Mercedes feel about you taking the, the her locker? And she same was like, way. about the same way you, <laughs> she would feel about you taking her spot. Yeah. And, Mer and Mississippi pretty much was just like, you know, caught off guard, didn't really have anything to say. But Autumn was like, I always share mine. And she just flashed a gun that she had and she also um, shared the combination with her. And that's around the time where King was like, man who like um i don't know who she is man i don't know who she is but in in the south very very reputable especially in mississippi castle law so 
you know, she have, definitely has the access to go ahead and get herself some protection. Mm-hmm. You know, I was just thrown off at the fact that, you know, she pretty much told her, hey, you know, I, I'm pretty much here. I see you. And if you want, you know, protection too as well, I'm willing to give it to you. So, yeah. You're I like, mean, I don't know who, who she is, I but I respect it. Who she, I respect it, man. Dangerous. Dangerous, but respect it. Stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. <laughs> Stay dangerous. <laughs> uh, next we ended up seeing that um, Mercedes is talking with Maine mm-hmm. and um, getting fake IDs for her in autumn mm-hmm. and um, after all that is said and done that was a little cute um, play into their relationship there mm-hmm. and um, then that's actually where we see Autumn giving Mercedes like a little cut of their money and mm-hmm. Mercedes is like oh you know excited that you know that she's finally getting closer to that increment of money that she lost with her mom. Right. And, um, Mercedes, um, Autumn is letting Mercedes know, like, you want to stash your money? And yes. We already went all the way back to that, but she was pretty much just telling her to tighten up next time. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, Autumn asked to go to the bathroom. When she goes to the bathroom, she goes into another door and mm-hmm. actually in, um, opens up Terica's room. Yeah, yeah. And she sees the setup that um, Mercedes has there for Terica and Mercedes walks in like, I know you saw that this wasn't no daggone bathroom, so why are you even still there? <laughs> and um, Autumn was just like, you know, I just wanted to check and see you and Mercedes was just like, do you like it? Mm-hmm. And they had this um, moment there that was really special where they both were vulnerable with each other and ter- and um, Mercedes let Autumn know everything that she's been going through with Terica and how much she's been taking, all the effort she's been taking into decorating her room. Right. And um, she lets, and she was like telling Autumn her daughter's name and Autumn went and told her, her daughter, told Mercedes her daughter's name. It was Autumn, which... Hey. A tear jerker. Like I had to hold back tears in that scene. Right, right. Because Autumn pretty much at the end of this at the end of that scene was like, You have a chance um to see your daughter again mm. and you need to make sure that you do everything in your power to make that happen. Gotcha. Yes. And she pretty much gets up and walks away. And Mercedes is like, Oh my goodness, like hope like do you need you know, like can I console you? And Autumn just keeps it pushing. Yeah. <laughs> To the bathroom I was originally supposed to go. Yes, exactly. (laughs) All right, so the next scene that we see is when um, Mercedes... No, start over. Go, do it again. Start, do it again. Ready, set, go. So the next scene that we see is getting even hotter. And we see that Mississippi is actually in the studio with Little Murder. And she's blown, let, posting on social media, just letting them know, hey, I'm in the studio with Lil Murder. It's about to blow up this time. We're about to blow up. And um, you definitely need to come through. And that is also when she talks to, um, where actually Lil Murder's like management and his whole team pretty much was saying, like, you're not following through on your orders when you need to be in the studio and stuff. You could have already had, and even the DJ, uh, DJ Never Scared, he was like, you could have already had another single out ready for Mercedes, um, excuse me, Mississippi's. Um, next dance coming up. Yes, yeah. her next dance coming up. She said she was going to call it a murder night, I believe. And she's going to dance and Lil Murder's going to have a song that she's going to dance to. That's what she sold Uncle Clifford on to. Mm-hmm. And Uncle Clifford kind of told her to like slow her roll a little bit. But she was letting Uncle Clifford know like if we do this, this will possibly work in the money that you need. Or at least be a nice break before the pink go- goes completely under. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes. So um, that's pretty much where um, we're going back to Lil Murder in the studio and his team is questioning him like, where were you at last night? You texted um, the person that you were supposed to be in the studio with and you never showed up. So where, you, where were you at? And it got really quiet and awkward. And then that's when Mississippi went and sat on Lil Murder's lap and started kissing him. And she was like, he was busy and kind of covered, well, not kind of, completely covered Mm -hmm. for (laughs) Lil Murder that night into what he was doing. And you kind of got a glimpse of his manager looking at Lil Murder like he was jealous of him. Mm. And I really didn't like that. That made me (laughs) feel very uncomfortable. Not a good look Mm -hmm. on the management. Yes, when the management not happy. That's the whole point, though, of management. They're supposed to make you look like exactly what Mississippi said. Okay? 
Yes. Yes. Right. Got to have the ladies that want to look like you, but be like you. No, the ladies, the ladies that want to that want to uh, fornicate with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, the ladies got want to fornicate with you, and the, letters and the guys got to want to be you. Yeah, I said the lettuce, and then the lettuce got to be you. <laughs> right. The lettuce gotta be you. <laughs> That's all good. Um, the next scene we see is Andre speaking with the 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 casino, the casino owner. Right. Yeah. And finalizing the plans and just letting the casino owner know that. I wasn't able to get the Kyle family to sign to sell their land, but I will be able to get. Yes, we will have to get them to lease. That's the only way. And he pretty much, um, right. <laughs> and That's the not. exactly the casino owner pretty much tells him like. You need to wrap this up and get it done because that's the end of it. Like, if you don't um, go ahead and get this finalized within the next few days, whatever you got to do, lease the land to them, whatever, let's move it and keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's pretty much where Andre is like, okay, perfect, I'll go ahead and get it done. Mm -hmm. And after that, Andre ends up calling his wife. And you can tell that they're, you know, having a cute conversation about how much they miss one another. And then Andre was letting his wife know that he had to go against his uncle, his godfather's wishes, the mm. mayor of Chakalisa. He pretty much lets, him know, lets his wife know that I had to do something that he pretty much is going to be probably not too happy about. Mm. And his wife kind of just froze and he had to check his connection on like the video call. And she was like, no, I'm still here. I'm just trying to figure out why you're going against what your uh, godfather wants. And, right. you know, you're just some outsider coming in calling the shots. And he questioned her, like, outsider, why are you calling me an outsider? Because he's from there. He's yes. from Chuck Lisa. Yes. And then she said, that's not your home, though. Your home is here in Atlanta, I believe. That's where mm, she said that, they, that yeah, she was. Yeah, Atlanta, yeah. And she misses him being there. And he pretty much hangs up on her, like... Like, it was just too much for him to handle at that time. Because, mind you, he's still worried about Autumn. Right. I was going to bring up the condoms from Walgreens, but I decided <laughs> to forego. <laughs> I hope he still had his receipt. He probably didn't have his receipt. So exactly. Yeah, still... so he probably still thinking about it. He probably like, dang. And anyway. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, hey, I guess. Yes. Yeah, so, we see the house mother, Eloise. She stops by the pink. And... She um drops the tea. She spills the tea. That um, oh, give it yeah. to him. Oh, okay. You she spills me? the big tea. This is how much tea she brought. Give it okay. To him. Got close this is how much tea <laughs> she brought. Okay. She brought big tea over, and she pretty much was just letting um Uncle Clifford know that the on the main way. Oh, let me back on up because I want to speak on something that Eloise pointed out. She said, when I'm sitting in the car or I'm in the room with them, I'm just sitting there as wallpaper. Almost as like I don't even exist as they talk, talk about this, that, and the third. And I would like to point out that as a black woman, that is a common, unfortunate common occurrence. And I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate um, that moment being showcased. There's so many little intricate moments that we can get into and dive into. Um, please comment down below all the little moments that you saw as well that spoke to yourself. And, you know, because it's very important to see yourself showcased on um, different platforms and just see yourself as well. Right. Things you can relate to. So, um, she pretty much was just like, when they're talking and having their little conversations, I feel like wallpaper, like I don't even exist. And um, I sit there and I listen and hear what's going on, though. And she said, the one way that you can make sure that your um, the pink doesn't go under is you can try and get a citywide vote on the casino. Because they still got to go by law. Yes, you you can definitely have a citywide vote put in like a um, petition, pretty much, yep. to vote on the casino. Yep. And if... Uh, Uncle Clifford can get that done, and with the tenacity that I know and the thorough energy that they they always mm -hmm. provides, I know he can get this done. Absolutely. Eloise pretty much lets lets him know like that's a way that you could buy yourself time, and um, possibly not lose your business. Right. Mm -hmm. And with social media and the way Mercedes is, uh, social media is blowing up. 
That should be easy. You mean Mississippi, yeah. Mississippi, excuse me. Yeah, it, it's fine. I've done that. I've rewatched some of our videos and I've said Mississippi instead of Mercedes, but hopefully the people who are actually following along, you already know. <laughs> okay, it's a lot yes. going on. I, we love it. We love it, love it, love it. Yeah, so the next scene we see is Uncle Clifford actually stopping by to bail out Mercedes' mom. Oh, man. Mm. And she want that church, don't she? Yes, she want that church, so... Uncle Clifford let her know you're going to have to do a little something since you want this church. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You want them pews. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, the next scene after that, we pretty much see that Andre gets a call from Autumn in the crack of the, the, crack of the forenoon. And pretty much it's just like, I wanted to say bye to you before I left. And Andre is just letting her know, like, um... I'm trying to, no, I'm going to scratch that. She's saying pretty much bye to Andre before she leaves. Mm -hmm. And um, that pretty much was the end of that conversation. Right. And, you know. She's cutting that relationship. Yeah. She, she's like, I just wanted to call and say goodbye before I left. Here's the biggest hot, point, <laughs> hot pepper of them all, y'all. This is the biggest one? The Main. biggest one? Main. Go ahead. Main. Tell them. Maine decided, you know, what what a lot of folks do, go ahead and give that give that nice little bracelet to somebody the else, the fat piece. boy. Yep, yes. yep. Fat boy. You know, he was complaining a little bit. Maine, hey, you, you get it taken care of, right? All right, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Maine keep it pushing. And he almost walks past that sign, but he sees the one yes. of Autumn with a hand. A hand. Mm. This is P Valley episode. You didn't say anything. I, I know. That's the only thing I can say right now. There is a hand that is sitting on her. Now, some may say it's just a photo that was photoshopped. I say it's a significant hand. I may want to dive a little deeper and say it's somebody from her past that come out looking for it. Y'all, there is a missing persons flyer right when Maine is walking in the door. It's getting hot. There's a missing person flyer of Autumn, and that's pretty much where the episode ends. So we're going to have to tune in next week <laughs> to see what's going to happen in episode 7 of P-Valley. And we actually were invited to an exclusive, exclusive. To the last call. Screening, yes. An exclusive advanced screening of episode 7. Last call so for alcohol, y'all. that means instead of us waiting the normal time that we would have to wait, which is Sunday, you know, to see the video. We I mean, to see the episode. All the tea. We are going to have all of the tea. All the tea. And <laughs> on Wednesday. All the tea. Instead of Sunday. We got all the tea. If you want to attend the advanced screening. All the tea. If you want to attend the advanced screening of P Valley, I will put the link down below. I'm yes. not sure how long the tickets are going to be available. Yes. But if you want to attend, I'll put the link down below and you can reserve your tickets as well. There will be interviews with the with the um, producer and creator and writer of P Valley. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other juicy guests and a lot of other details. Check us out. Definitely, definitely appreciate you checking us out and remember comment down below if we skipped out on anything any subscribe. details that we have yes. subscribe to our channel and share this video with other p valley fans and throw those thumbs yes up. give this video a thumbs up and y'all we gonna be on season two okay we gonna be on season two either us or y'all somebody delivering that <laughs> she wanted me to stop but i'm not done I still got a few more packets. And we got a whole bunch of tea left, y'all. That's it. We got a That's whole bunch of tea That's all the tea, tea for this left. episode. That's it. That's it. That's all the tea for this episode. We will see you next time. And we will... Uh, I'm trying to think. When are we going to... Are we going to spoil it and, like, drop the video early? After we watch the advanced screening? Should we do a watch party? That is a good idea. I don't know. You'll find out.